Hello, uh, I just want to share a few tips if you want to remove a starter like this in a 3.6 Traverse or Arcadia or any EMC with the V6 uh, 3.6. Uh, the first thing, this motor is subsized, so there's a way to, I can explain better, the other way is a little tricky there. This is the catalytic, front catalytic facing to the motor here, front of the motor and it's three nuts here. You have to let it go suck a little bit. W40 or oil, whatever you have it there. You remove it and try to don't break it. And when you do that thing, you will have a bracket. You have, have the option to drop it down a little later. And you have a bracket bolt here. It's a little bracket in the bottom part to hold it. It's a 15 millimeters head. And you wanna be careful, this is the knock sensor. And you have it basically behind, over here, the uh, starter motor. And you don't have to disconnect it. In this case, you, you have to remove your, the pole. And this thing have uh, like a uh, holder here, the plastic uh, orange, green orange. So as soon as you do that, many people said that you have to remove this Thick. I, mean, I don't recommend it because you see here there's a little corrosion here, so it's not recommended. So anyway, you remove two bolts here, 50 millimeters. As soon as you remove it, it's a little uncomfortable there in the truck, but you know, a little more so easy. You have to uh, pull it, and this way to avoid the deep stick, and then to the front. When in the car, it's a little more difficult course, and then find a way to put it all the way down or if you have a little room this way but it's very easy to the bottom part and so you got that thing the way to disconnect it this one you have to use to remove this tap lock whatever it's called and you pull it as soon as you pull it you have to push this little part whatever you have done push it so hard you have to push it and pull it so that's a quick connection. And the other one is you 30 millimeters. There, how you can see it. And it's this one here. You have to sit it this way. So, and after that you have a little, let me show you here, it's like a cover. Here this way, I think it's mounted this way. Yeah. And it's, it's to the heat from the heat because you have exhaust and you got like an eight millimeters little bolt and now the pencil of the model and in this case it's a bolt so you remove that and the same way to put it back you had to connect it. this one here to make it easy if you want to suffer a little bit there but it can be a pain and put it back this way this way um, I recommend to inspect, put the light there and inspect your flywheel. In this case, I want to remove the transmission, and but I, I take emphasis there uh, to remove the bolts from the turbine, and that's what I want to take the time to explain to you. And I hope this tip helps somebody. It can be a pain on this there. The same from the alternator. <laughs> it's, it's no room if you notice, and your tensioner is part of the thing to hold the alternator. So I hope this tip helps somebody there. And well, by the way, right here is the oil pressure switch on sensor unit. And uh, I will put more more videos. Okay, you notice know, the ground here, and and it can be many to, things to learn. I will post another video later. Thank you for watching.